eight years of escalation, yeah. you know? Instead of, best man at my wedding, let's go on trips. No, let's just have a threesome. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just really fucking You're never, dead. Well, You're well, never yeah, getting got, married. What time's the football game? Right, we got time for a threesome. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I only need 30 seconds. <laughs> Ladies Say and gentlemen, that. welcome to Pillow Time! <laughs> can't sing, but welcome to the show, babies. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Pownell. This is Pillow Talk. We're joined by Mr. Quickie at They Call Me Dark. And today, we have probably our, to me, I'm, I'm most nervous I've ever been for doing a podcast. My idol and icon, legend, king of the world from Toronto, <laughs> king of Toronto. This is icon, celebrity, entrepreneurial, billionaire, superstar, Michael Wackerly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Give it up. Jeez. Okay, Ryan, what's that going to cost me? <laughs> <laughs> Michael Weckerly, uh, you have six kids. Yeah. Why haven't you learned how to pull out? Jeez, you know what? Uh, there goes one of my Mr. Quickie questions. You know, you know what? It always is the situational situation. <laughs> and it's just too good. You just... You just can't stop. You I know? agree with wow. you. Yeah. That's you know? the best answer ever. I, 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 I recently learned, because, I, you know, I had one of those things. Uh, I recently learned how to do the pull and pray method. You know, where you pull out and just pray for the fucking best. Because I couldn't afford plan B for a long time. Yeah, true. But you know what? Hey, you know, if it's if it's your time and God willing, you know, it's, it's the greatest gift I have. True that. And I will say this, Mr. Weckerly, you know, Beyond all whack, your success. Whack, whack. You know, I, feel, I, I, feel, I feel old enough as it is in this crowd here. <laughs> okay. So the whack. I'll just call you whack. The, the whack. The whack. whack. That's perfect. The whack? Uh, what whack, whack, the whack. Is that what you nickname your penis? Whatever. The whack? No, <laughs> okay. no. I think uh, my girl Jazzy calls it cuckoo because she's Spanish. And I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> the cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean? What does a cuckoo mean? Oh, he's <laughs> a cuckoo. <laughs> okay, amazing. So, uh, you still having a lot of sex? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great. Okay. I will say this, Michael Weckerly, the Weck. Your kids are all really fucking good looking. Yeah, I know. Don't get any thoughts, hey? Well, but, uh, <laughs> Danielle and I, you know, we text here and there. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, Sexting's okay. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, you know what? I'm very proud of them. And, and Raquel, as you know as well, she's a kickbox instructor. So she can uh, take care of herself. She, she kicked me in the leg, actually, at the Elma Combo. Wow. Yeah, I know. Yeah. She's tough. She's tough. She's a it tough hurts. one. She told me she does that oh, when guys are way too aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I know you, I, they're good. Even the twins, the guys are way better looking than me and, me and Mr. Quick. Hey, no, they're they're, they're you know they're good kids. I, I love them dearly. One hundred percent. So uh, the Weck, do you see a difference in affection from women uh, from when you were before you were very rich until you were very fucking rich? Well, it's funny, you know, as I said uh, not too long ago, but I don't say it anymore, but I said I've been single and I've been rich, but never at the same time. When that did happen, then it was a big difference, you know. My uh, my my efforts in my teen and early 20s when I was just starting out, you know, I was, oh, man, you know, one of these days, one of these days. And it, it seemed to work better as I turned 45. Uh, <laughs> and that was so... I feel like I'm, my game's getting years better ago. the older I get, too. You're getting better at getting late? I'm just laid? getting way better. Well, like a fine yeah. wine, man. Yeah. Like a fine this wine. This guy's been having way too much sex. I can't even get a hold of him. He's like, fuck. Just oh, you make it fun. seem like it's a bad problem. Well, it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> He's a sex addict. I'm not kidding. Well, you got to change his nickname, Don. Yeah, Mr. Quickie to Mr. <laughs> yeah, you can't say Mr. Quickie. That's not a good handle. Say, hey, I'm <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Mr. Quickie. You know, I I'm got... hornier than a three-peckered billy goat in a barnyard. <laughs> And that's, oh, that is, and that's that is, horny. That is horny. That is, that's very horny. That is horny. Yeah. That, is, that, yeah. is, that is horny. So you must have some fucking stories no wonder for us. you're quickie. You just got to keep going. You got to get a full <laughs> night ahead of you. Yeah, it's, it's a numbers game. It's the faster you do it, the more you can do it. You know? The faster you do it, the more you can do it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So you must have some crazy stories. Maybe orgies with celebrity friends. I don't know. <laughs> Stuff like that. Well, I don't know where you're going with this, but, uh, you know. <laughs> so how's not, business? You know, it's not bad. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I never want to see my buddy beside. I don't know. Some people are into it. No, no, no worries. That's all cool. But, you know, we're like, you know it's, kind of, it's kind of like, it's we're, kind of like, we're yeah, into that. you know, it's kind of like, you know, when you're naked and your leg kind of touches the, your your buddy, best friend, and you kind of go, it's like a two-minute penalty. Oh, we know? full-blown <laughs> high five. We full-blown high five. Yeah, we, 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 yeah. we share. We know. We have fun together. It, well, great. And I, I, I'm embarrassed to say, look, I'm not a homosexual. Not that there's anything wrong with that but i've had more threesomes with another guy than with two girls ah interesting because it's fun i do it for sport <laughs> well, it's, yeah. it's, it's, you know it's a, it's a true bromance yeah, it really yeah, is yeah. oh true yeah bromance. our relationship uh, escalated, escalated like escalated. It, it, yeah eight years of escalation yeah. you know instead of yeah. best man at my wedding let's go on trips no let's just have a threesome 
You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's just really fucking. You're never, dead. Oh, You're well, never yeah, getting married. Got, what time is the football game? Right, we got time for a threesome. Let's go. <laughs> I only need 30 seconds. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay, so the Dragon's Den boys, how are they? Oh, they're fantastic. Like I said, you know, king of the, the den is still, even though he was not on this year, is Jim Trilliving. He is by far probably the nicest and smartest man I've ever met in my life. Really, really? eh? And yeah. he's Danielle was rich, telling rich. me that's your, he's like your actually your best friend. Uh, he's my best friend, idol. I'd say, you know, for a guy who's been as successful, you know, and it's great because, you know, when I came on the show, I said, geez, I don't know if I can pull this off because I didn't, you know, like some of the other people, I didn't finish university. He goes, don't worry, either did I. And uh, his career path, he was a wrestler when he started out. What? No a way. A wrestler back in the, he's you know, big early. Boy. He had big guy. The big show. And uh, big Jim. Big Jim. Big Jim. And then he was a mounted, <laughs> uh, a mounted police officer for no the way. mounted bounties. Yeah. And he did a great job there and has great stories then in the early 70s he met a guy that uh, he used to go to in Penticton where it was his hometown at the time out in BC and I uh, love the pizza there he says you know I got a little bit of money I want to partner with you he goes you know I have a Greek guy making pizza it doesn't make sense but it really was good and they couldn't come up with the name so they finally decided to uh, figure out the name. And the reason it was called Boston Pizza was the guy that lived up upstairs. His name was David Boston. So there's a bit of trivia for you. Okay. Now now we know. I looked it up. He's worth, he's rich, rich. Yeah, yeah. 800 okay. million, the internet oh. says he's worth. Yeah, uh, you know, and that's probably being modest. He, he's, probably I think, more. Eh? I think he just gave away a whack of money again to KMH, which is his number one cause. Okay. It's a great cause for everyone who wants to donate money to. And you're involved with social that and mental health, 100%. It's, you know, everybody in whatever, how successful, how not successful, how, so uh, at any age, any time, you'll find yourself in a period of time where, you know, you get a series of anxiety and depression. It's really important that you kind of take the stigma away. And I think that uh, Jim's done a great job for that. Oh, good. That's great. Wow. Yeah. He lives in Toronto, Jim? Uh, he spends a lot of time uh, in Toronto back and forth because he's got a place downtown. But he primarily lives in Dallas and Vancouver. I will say this, though. Big Dragon guy. I don't yeah. think I've missed an epi. I like it more than Shark Tank, and you can quote that. <laughs> it's there you better. go, Mr. Wonderful. Yeah, Mr. Big Wonderful man. can suck it. 100%. Over. And I, I fucking love the show, and I will say, who's the goat of the fucking show? Seriously. You're the goat of the show, and everyone oh, knows wow. this. Oh, wow. Kevin O'Leary was great the first few seasons. He was fantastic. Then you came in, and you fucking took over. Now, well, let me ask you. you this. Are people a little bit intimidated by Michael Weckerly? You come in, you're flashy, you're cute, you're hot. And you take over their show? Are they a little bit insecure now? On the ropes? rope a dope <laughs> <laughs> They call that big dick well, energy. Well, I guess sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it was good. But, you know, it, it was great because, you know, you can kind of use your, you know, that persona to make someone feel better. Or sometimes they're a bit snappy and you want to kind of do a little beat down. It works out well. So, I bet. Yeah. Well, fuck. Imagine he came on and co-hosted the podcast. I'd be insecure. Well, it's the magic of television, too. I remember my mom, God bless her, she passed away about 18 months ago. Uh, but she one time came up to me and they took a shot and it was my first season and Chili was there and for some reason he goes, ah, who's your favorite Tarlene? He goes, give me a kiss and they kind of do this really lame kiss. I go, well, that's the worst kiss I've ever seen. He goes, <laughs> he goes, well, can you do better? So I pick her up and I give her this big <laughs> holding hug kiss, you know, and they get it on camera but unfortunately with TV, they played it 32 times. Mm -hmm. So my mom <laughs> comes up, she goes, well, you, Dad, Mikey, Mikey, you know, that Arlene lady, what, how come I don't meet her? What's going on? I go, mom, that, it was one kiss. <laughs> <laughs> it was one kiss that they replayed 32 times. Of yeah. course. So I've that's seen a that kiss. No, I, I remember that's it. magic of television. Let me ask you a question. Orlean looks like she likes younger guys like us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She'd be all she over. She does, right? Who? Yeah. Yeah. Orlean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So she she, yeah. she looks like she has a bunch she, of cats at her house. And you know what? I, I, no, no, no. She's yeah. a very progressive, very smart woman. And yeah, I know. She tends to like the hockey players. So, oh, so you're, you're right really? up there. You have that, you know, that, you just put that toque on. I can't even spell hockey, but they don't, yeah, don't, don't thank worry. You. But you got to look for it. Just run that. with it. Yeah. Has, yeah. has Arlene had sex with Austin Matthews? You got to check with Austin. Austin? <laughs> Julia? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're getting you keep little, coming to the episode a little to get roasted. Here. It's on you. <laughs> okay, let's do Mr. Quickie. Let's do Mr. Quickie. Okay. This episode was sponsored by Shiva's Rose by our fucking boys over at Fox on John. I love these guys so much. They have Shiva's Rose. They have wine, white wine, red wine, cannabis, fastest delivery of weed in all of Toronto. I smoke it every day and water. <laughs> Thank you. All right. The this weck. is going great. The Weck. My name is Mr. Quickie. Do you want to know why they call me Mr. Quickie? Yes. 
They call me Mr. Quickie because I do everything and I mean everything as quickly as possible. Right. You now have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as you can as quickly as you can. Starting now. Ryan already said this one. We're going to say it anyways. You have six children. Is it safe to assume you don't uh, believe in condoms? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> if all men were eradicated from the face of the earth and only Ryan Pownall and Mr. Quickie were left, which one of us would you rather date one of your daughters? Ooh, man. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Quick. I'm going to go with Ryan. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. I'm hey, taking L's today. You set today. me up for this. You know, uh, you're, yeah. you're, you're looking for the pig. Hey, no, cushion, that's man. fair. We What's up, Danielle? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Would you rather wait another decade for El Macombo to open or burn another million dollar Porsche spider? I'd burn the Porsche first. Yeah. yeah just, <laughs> just go ahead and do it. Dude, yeah. Okay, so here's a good one. When when did you decide to get the Pillow Talk podcast logo tattooed on you? And can we see it? Wait, he did? He has he has the lips on him. Where? Oh, I do have that lips. <laughs> yeah, okay. No way. I've done my research. Yeah, wow. I do. As a good I'm, son-in-law would do. Uh, you know, I got them done probably about 10 years ago. So there you go. I was kind of visionizing. That's your, the end there of Mr. Quickie. Yeah, Mr. Quickie. Uh, congratulations. But Mr. keep Quickie. going on that topic. Yeah, I was yeah. visionizing maybe your, your show. So I... I had it done. You knew we were going to be a big deal back it, in the it, day, eh? 100%. Who wouldn't? I'm only human, man. Look at you guys. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I will say Michael Weckerly, the Weck. When you walk in a room, you take over the room. And we saw you at 44 a few nights ago. A uh, fun nightclub. Yeah, Post- great, great, great club. Great club. It is a yeah. great club. And you walk in and you grab the bottle from me and you must have done 46 ounces. In the well, yeah, I didn't, I didn't swallow all that 46 you ounces so I wouldn't be out. walking out of that club. But uh, <laughs> you guys had a rocking table going there. I've never seen so many significantly large bottles in my life. Like, how big were those bottles? Like, they must have been like 120. Or, I can't even curl yeah. them. Only oh. Ronnie Way can hold them up. Yeah. yeah. Almost you know, steroids is a hell of a drug. <laughs> you got to do it if you need it. 100%. <laughs> So the partying and the business, I want to get into that. So you're a superstar in that department. A lot of people are too pussy to put it online, go out, drink. You don't give a fuck. Has it helped you or hurt you? Uh, you know, it, it, it probably hurt me for a period of time. And, you know, everything, there's a balance, you know. And, you know, unfortunately, when you're drinking, you don't really see that balance. So, you know, sometimes it's good to step back a bit, which I did, and uh, kind of, you know, take a big dip, blah, 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 a big deep breath of air yeah. and uh, kind of reevaluate yourself because, you know, you become an asshole. And I think that's what... Ryan and I had to step back after a big summer this summer. Yeah, yeah you we do. Because you start, you start <clears throat> just doing things that you probably wouldn't do if you thought about so it. So true. And uh, so I think that's important. We that went to true. We went to Vegas for 14 days. We lost our fucking minds. Oh, shit, man. You yeah. probably lost a lot more than your minds. Yeah. <laughs> Money, dignity, semen. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Serotonin. Serotonin. You know, yeah. the come downs from the drugs. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're, you're boring from oh, tomorrow's yeah. happiness. I don't yeah. think I've met anybody that spent two weeks in Vegas other than us they live there. <laughs> Losers. We're alive. Losers. I'm a loser. What's going <laughs> on? So, do uh, you ever dabble in the drugs? I have before. I wouldn't say not. And like I said, uh, at, you know, the older you get, the, the you, you tend to have tried a lot of different things. And, uh, you know, clean living is, I find, you know, my best drug is water. And I still like the cigarettes, which I try to quit, but the hardest thing for me to quit is cigarettes. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, as far as uh, I got you know, heavy pussy. drugs, I find uh, it's a, it's a big big problem. You know, like say, you know, one's not enough, and a hundred's too many, and it's a it's a it's a vortex. It's easy to get in, but it's fucking hard to get out. Wow, well yeah. said. Yeah, you know yeah. something about nicotine? I smoked, yeah. and then I got on Nicorette gum. You ever tried it? Yeah, I have. I hate it. I got so addicted Sorry, to Nicorette. the gum. <laughs> <laughs> I got so addicted to the gum. I went back on smoking. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. And I find the hardest thing to do is to be social guys like us and then go out and not drink. Yeah. No, you know what? I don't mind it because, you know, you sit there, you get a big glass of ice water and I just end up just chewing on the ice. And, you know, you're in a bar and you got a big tall glass of ice water. Shit, I used to go around with that. Was well, the difference was it was all full of vodka. Yeah, uh, but now it's ice water. But don't you find and you I get can, annoyed? I all, I, you know, you I get don't. Drunk I don't, people, no. no. Oh yeah, no, we try. So like cokeheads in your ear say, "I got a business for you to invest yeah, in." Yeah, sometimes I get, but you know, you just kind of use a lot of words like "interesting" that mean absolutely nothing, and you just go, oh, "Interesting." Yeah, it's very interesting. I'll come back to you on that. <laughs> you know, and, uh, and you just move on. You know, but you know, you, yeah, interesting. You use that. Do anytime. people pitch you business ideas every fucking day? <gasps> every day. Every day. Yeah. And what do you do? I listen to them. You know, I try to give them a piece of time. Then I, there's a point you got to cut them off and say, got to go, you know. 
email me here at boom, yeah. boom and that's it. Go on, you know. So, and and you know, if the people are persistent, that means they got something they 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 believe in. A lot of people just want to try to make the quick buck, you know. It takes five years to uh, build a uh, business and ten years to build a brand, and really, it's that ten year period that you know solidifies that you've done it. So, how long have you been doing this for now? This is six months. Oh man, you got a long way to go, guys. You but got, I got it. I got, got a tattoo just like years. you, Mister Weckerly. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sick. You know what I mean. Yours is probably nicer. So, what's the brand? <laughs> well, <laughs> let's see it. Actually, where is it? Let's go, baby girl. It's uh, you got some cool tattoos. It yeah. looks like your. Let's see your owl one there, Darkie. Oh, yeah, it's the dumbest tattoo I've ever. I got it before Drake. <laughs> 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 so, what business are you most proud of? Which which business made you the most cool, and which business got you the most laid? Mm, I don't think any of them did really, but uh, but because uh, <laughs> like, when you're doing business, you're just so focused, you know. Yeah. You're, boom! You got to be laser focused when you when you're successful. It's not a part time job, you know. Wow. Uh, I like but that uh, in the in the last recent years, uh, the toughest was the Elma Combo because of the delays, the pandemic. But it's very cool. But like I said, you know, it's thirty-two uh, million dollars put into the place. Yeah, probably a little bit more than that. Yeah, but I'm listen, you took your time on that. Trying to be kind to myself and not look too ridiculous. But uh, <laughs> you, you took your time on that, and it shows. It is a Ten fantastic years, yeah? venue. Years. Yeah, I'm not even trying to suck your years, dick. Eight yeah. years to do it. You no, know, some of those partially hampered by the uh, pandemic. Best venue but, in the uh, city. Country. I, I love it. It is. Though. Yeah, well, I I'll tell you, it. you know, when you when you listen to it and you, then you can hear the audio and, you know, we're, we're pulling vinyl out of those shows right now and it's just going to be cool for anyone who State likes of the to go sound back room. old school to yeah, vinyl, yeah. man. They'll see some great live at the Elmo Combo album. And holy fuck, the manager is so hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's his daughter he's talking about. <laughs> Well, her sister's we hot too. Female, we got an all-female managing staff with Alicia, Danielle, and Raven. So, yeah, it's, it's girl power at the Elma Combo. That's for sure. That's great, hundred percent. So, tell, t- let's talk about the Elma Combo for a little bit, sure, because we fucking love it. I, we so had such much. a blast. There. We want to move the, the podcast Scoobies, but, there. As oh, you, know. you gotta do yeah. it one time. You gotta yes. do it. Yes, exactly. I wouldn't Live. say move it there. We'll have to talk money then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we we love it. So, tell us what's going on. Is, is it more of a toy, or is it more? Is it no? A this is a full, this is really you know what we're doing at the Elma Combo, and you'll see it is we're bringing in large acts and local acts. So we're trying to appeal to, you know, last night we had the beaches there. Oh, sorry, Tuesday night we had the beaches there. We loved it. Yeah. So that's what we saw. They were awesome. Fantastic. And uh, Will and the Wolf, great band, great new band that people don't know too much about. When you hear them, you'll say, wow, they cool. They kind of remind me of uh, Greta Van Vliet a bit, you know? So you're just a music fan? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a music fan. Love music. I told people, you know, it's… You know, my dream is growing up on Young Street, Toronto, all my life was to, and a musician that was not very good, was to play the Elma Combo, and I never really could get in there. You know, they wouldn't say, nah, you know, we don't have room for you, you're not that good, blah, blah, blah. So I finally played the Elma Combo. I just had to buy it first, and that was my <laughs> joke. So. And it's a true story. It's a true story. I closed the Rich deal. bastard. Yeah, I closed the deal. <laughs> and then the, the day the deal closed, that night, I had it set up. I got my... Friends were an incredible musician, so I sounded really good. <laughs> nice. I had an open bar, and everybody came in. As you know, the uh, you know the area has a you know, kind of a homeless issue because of the shelter there. And all oh, I had free booze, man. I was a big hit for that shelter. Um, <laughs> and they came in, and the lady comes off on on the stage, and she goes, "Oh, it's all about the government." And I don't know what else. I said. I told Cliff, I said, "Cliff, just let her go, man. Just keep playing." It was great. <laughs> so it was quite a unique show. But that was my one stint at the Elma Combo, and probably my only stint there. <laughs> I love that. A fucking legend, Michael. Oh, Please. I know that. What's next? What do you got going on? Well, I got a couple companies I'm involved with. There's three that I'm very proud of. One, of course, is Mogo, which is a fintech. Because all you guys are, you know, in that age where you really don't stand in line for a bank. You, you, you know, everything's on your phone. I, I guess, you know, you're just like this here. Three, some, just a second. Let me get my cards. Yeah. <laughs> Scratch that. Okay, good. Here, Here's my package of Guilty. condoms and everything comes in. My yeah. booze, my yeah. weed, boom, that's yeah. all done. And comes to you, they, some guy on a bicycle drops it all off and just throws it over to you, you know, gives yeah. you a tent. You're good to go. So you that's your, that's you. No, uh, no, but so Mogo is me, yeah. So we, 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 I put together. I sold my company to Mogo about uh, five years ago, four years ago, and they're in crypto. They have a crypto exchange. They're a forty percent shareholder of Coin Square, which I think is the really cool thing. And they're getting in NFTs. And that's just the era I'm trying to learn about. But I'll tell you, it's the Same. next. Episode. We're getting into NFTs yeah. right now too. Our Very friend just made cool. one point two million. He's an idiot. And he made 1.2 well, I don't million. think he's that much of an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he made one point two million. So, so he's got some. His name is today. London. 
<laughs> He's a smart guy. We like that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, there's the, all this kind of new age uh, economics, the new age currency. I think it's going to be really interesting to see the evolution of where it's going to and that digital currency, that digital purchasing power. And, and that's what Mogo does. It's a, it's a free credit score, which is really important to you young guys, man. Because, you know, if you want to even get, get let into a really cool apartment, you got to have a credit score that is acceptable to their it's board true. that abides. So, you know, that's yeah. one thing. And, you know, it's not that hard to fix. You know, it really is easy. You just got to, you know, have a Canadian tire card and go spend 20 bucks and pay it off. 20 bucks pay it off. Most people just keep putting on the money and then kind of go to sleep and forget they have that debt, yeah. you know, and then it just racks up and, and getting it back is a bit of a pain, but keep it constant, keep it good. And if you got a credit score at 800 and you could walk in there and buy a thousand bridal path. It's yes, true. no money down. I'll just use my 800 credit score. Hello. It's so true. We all forget <laughs> what credit score is and yeah. then you try to apply for a condo. And it's good because once you get on the app, you actually understand what it takes to improve your credit score. So the app really helps you kind of guide you, give you spending patterns. Best app ever. And that's what, what I found is that, you know, with my credit card or my mogul card, which is a prepaid debit card, card. I was more conscious of my spending and I was better at giving too. You know, so if I had a round up or whatever, you know, I'd say, okay, cool. I'll round up here. It was a credit card it's just out the door, you know? And uh, so I find that the credit card encourages you to spend the debit card, encourages you to save in a weird way. So Mogul is a great company and they have uh, a free trade, a free stock trading platform coming on inclusive of their uh, crypto buying and selling, which I made $400 this week on crypto. Thank you Ooh. very much. $400 for <laughs> Michael Weckerle. I know. Well, I know. I, you can obviously <laughs> know that I don't have much crypto. What an idiot. <laughs> you know, I, I had a chance of when an Ether was at, you know, in the $400 range and Bitcoin, I'm going, Oh, man, I, I had a Bitcoin buy. chance too, Blue. And they said, no, you buy these things called Satoshis, which is a fraction. Like, I could have, like, I'm buying stocks, like, oh, yeah, I'll drop a million here, I'll drop this money here. I'm going, like, well, I'll put 120 bucks here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what an idiot. You know, <laughs> I, I, was, I was there in the room in the time, and I just didn't understand it well enough. So yeah. I figured, you know what, do I really want to buy one for you know, eight thousand dollars. Why want to buy this Satoshi for? You probably bucks? learned from that, though. You know what, though, most. Yeah, you know, I've always said that. You know, before you invest, you got to learn. You got to understand what you do because ninety percent of the time, you'll actually lose all your money. Yeah. But this was one of those ten percent times that had I just said, you know, I really don't know, but you guys look, you guys are walking around <laughs> yeah, rocking yeah. it out. You know, you're getting led every five minutes. I'm yeah. all in. You Why know? I find that about crypto is is all the millionaire entrepreneurs I respect didn't go in. It's like the get rich quick assholes that I well, despise. Well, you know, a lot of that guys, made millions off a lot like, of guys that had time, to, you know, free time to on their hands, you know, did a lot of work. And you know, like I said, nothing comes you know, easy. You know, as they say, you know, uh, you gotta have hard work to make money. You know, as far as success goes, you know, yeah, success only comes after work. So you know, think of the alphabet, man. Yeah. Michael Weckerly, do you spend a lot of money on OnlyFans? On what? OnlyFans. What's that? OnlyFans. What's OnlyFans? <gasps> OnlyFans. Only fans. Is, is, is that a uh, fan? Is that, a, <laughs> is, that, is that a ceiling fan or something? Yeah, it's, it's 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 Ryan's favorite thing to do. He spends a lot of money on new age porn. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, no, man. I've I was because OnlyFans I was, is I, now a billion dollar business, and what it is, is is it's. I heard Pornhub was up for sale, and the yes, numbers, Montreal. Yeah, and I didn't know it was from Montreal, but they pulled it off. The guy who owns the majority of shares of Europe apparently pulled it off. But I saw from someone who was in the data room. The monthly and daily visits, it's absolutely enormous. And funny enough, this was the uh, the statistic that came back, is the that you would have thought that it'd be 90% men. It was a pretty balance between men and women. Really, eh? And Julia's been spending a lot of time on that. And I don't yeah. know if this is correct, Ollie but they, they told me that the category <laughs> that women go to, I'm going to ask you this question. Do you know the category that women go I to? I do know. I do know. Do you know? I have no idea. I, I feel can like I, I'm can I whisper blowing my mind. Ear? Yeah. No? 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 So say it out loud. Lesbian. Girls like watching girls no, fuck each other. That's not it. Not it. Take a guess. Anal. No. Hentai, which is some kind of. Oh, cool. <laughs> some kind of. Kind of <laughs> what it's, is it's hentai? hentai? It's like hentai. anime, dude. Yeah, it's anime oh, this porn. Fucking guy. He, he, and, yeah. He and, watches. He drinks off the anime. I never, porn. And I never knew what it was. So I was watching. <laughs> and it's like, it's like, like, it's really sound and, and, and thematic. There's like, you know, squishing octopuses and really weird <laughs> shit, you know. But uh, I just did it for, for let's say, wow, please, really please weird, Rex, stop talking. I'm about to come. That was the number one, <laughs> number one category for women was hentai porn, if you can believe that. Insane. <laughs> he, he'll jerk off to Bart Simpson getting pumped by Peter Griffin. Yeah. You yeah. know. Yeah, March, I think, yeah. March. <laughs> <laughs> But no, that's uh, what kind of know. porn do you like? My, uh, you know like, what? You know, I have to say, as a, as my Cuban girlfriend is sitting right here, you know, there's nothing worse is that you know when I sat with Chad uh, Kilger and uh, 
And I go, he says, Mike, you got to read this, man. It's on the Elma combo with my girl and we're getting divorced. And then the lawyer's here. I go, I forgot my glasses and my eyesight's bad. And uh, he goes, oh, no, we got to read. I go, geez, I'm serious, man. I go, I must have jerked off too much as a kid. I can't see that well. So he goes, but your hearing's better. <laughs> <laughs> For any guy knows that situation, when your girlfriend walks in that room, it's like, nothing. It's all good. I'm not oh. doing anything right now. <laughs> like, you are trying to change that channel faster than Jack Lightning right now. <laughs> so, having been uh, in that situation, I said, man, I'm getting too, too, I'm getting too past it right now to have an argument about that and get the cold shoulder for two days. I said, forget it, you know? And, and she's beautiful. So, she goes, I'm your, I'm your goddess. So, I'm, I'm running with that. <laughs> Fucking right. Hey, you take care of us. as, what did you call him, Coco? Okay. <laughs> cuckoo. The cuckoo gets taken care of. Oh, yeah. No problem there. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Michael Wackerly. Where can we find you on social media? Uh, at the Elmacombo.com. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. Elmacombo. Yeah, just this episode was sponsored by Shiva's Rose. And yeah, Shiva's Rose. Great, man. I'm great drinking. wine, eh? Do you oh, like I it? drink it. Why not you? Shiva's Rose. Delicious. Wow. Fucking delicious. We love you. This is Mr. Quickie at They Call Me Dark. I'm your host, Ryan Pownell, and we will see you next Tuesday. Yeah, thank you, Quickie. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate Let's it. Thank go. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great. Yeah. Cheers. Woo! Michael Wackerly. Yeah. What a legend. <laughs> You're the best. You're the best.